welcome to day one part three in modular in a week where I build a modular synthesizer in a week. In this episode I want to go back to the Hackaday article series Logic Noise and look at a VCO which he did around a 4046 chip along with some of the information that we learned yesterday from the allaboutcircus.com uh, so those two together those two articles together will make the VCO that we are going to do today it's also a square wave output and it sounds like this it also has some fun features as a input for some interesting effects like that. So let's look at the schematics and how we can build this one. The 4046 VCO, super simple VCO to build. As I've said, uh, we add the summing circuit from the previous uh, allaboutcircus.com VCO, which would actually be more complicated than building the VCO itself. Uh, you don't need to have the summing circuit if, as you'll see, you can just use the CV input and it will be just be quiet other times. It also has that signal input feature, which you heard. And it is almost as cheap as it is simple, $4 about. I actually built two, but yeah. If you want many oscillators, you this is the one to build many of. It's really cheap. Uh, small part count. This is with the summing circuit for the CV input. So three jacks, one potentiometer, the 4046. The LM358 is for the summing circuit. And then just some resistors and we are ready to go. So today we go back to Hackaday and the Logic Noise article series. And a lot of articles later from the 4106 that we looked at, he makes a voltage controlled oscillator with a 4046. And this is a really simple oscillator that actually gives you voltage input as well. So uh, a, a capacitor and a resistor, for example, this is it. And if we make this circuit as this is, we get a voltage controlled oscillator, which is exactly like the one in the last episode. It is quiet if there is no voltage input. So therefore, for this to be the same as uh, we want to go back to the all about circuits series article article and and do the input adjust and add to this circuit on the voltage input that way we will get uh, the input jack and the potentiometer so let me draw the new circuit up for you, how it will look instead. And here I have the circuit along with all the, with the extra CV input uh, summing circuit. Uh, this is done in uh, an online tool called ECEDA, which I'll probably do a whole episode about. It's a super simple way to uh, do schematics on and actually also make PCBs from those schematics or from scratch. Uh, it's a company connected to JLC or a site connected to JLC PCB, uh, which I guess you've seen many videos about. Uh, 
on YouTube if you watch these maker channels. But anyway, so I use it in this video to draw the schematics for the 4046 uh, voltage controlled oscillator. So we are, have the square output here on pin 4. We have the capacitor as we saw on Hackaday site. Here is the, I call it signal in sync ring mod. Yeah, I think on the panel I just wrote signal in. Uh, if anyone knows what it is, I'm guessing it could be, it, it kind of acts the same way as the uh, hard sync on the 4106, so maybe it is sync. So here's the summing circuit which goes out, uh, goes to pin 9, VCO in, is the output from the op amp first stage, and I actually use both stages because somehow uh, the, it wanted an inverted um, signal of some kind or I did something wrong I don't know this is the circuit that works anyway so here we have the CV input and here we have the 100 K oops 100k uh, potentiometer that sets the initial CV and the trim pot 10k as before and let's build this one there's not much to show uh, and let's take a listen so you connect a IC socket to the Vero board and you add one capacitor and an output jack and an input jack and then that is it there's you don't even need to solder all the legs so the thing that takes most time in this circuit is actually the CV summer which is what you see me build here mostly So on the CV input adjust circuit you add one potentiometer connected between plus and minus 12 volts and one input jack as you seen in the schematics. I also here at the end I look a bit on my previous circuit which added a, where I had a potentiometer instead of uh, the signal input. So this is how the output sounds with the CV input adjust in place, turning the knob and if we take a CV input, so now we take the triangle output from the All About Circuits uh, VCO for a more smoother transition. So now we have the CV input uh, um, controlling the voltage and also the knob. So after doing this circuit I also instead of the R1 here in my first design I added a potentiometer here and in my second design so the final design I added a, a jack here instead of the uh, resistor I put a jack and also connected to ground uh, so we can have a signal in on pin 11 which affects the sound of the 4046 
uh, and that sounds like this. All right, so if we disconnect the CV input a while and we just take another one of the 4106 to the signal input. Then it's a little bit like the sync from the yeah, like syncing between these, but not quite. If we watch the waveform, it's a bit different. And we can also. So we have the, we can still have the CV input and then we take signal in and we can get really weird noises. The next article in this article series is also, if we continue, he expands on this design quite a lot, which I do not. But the next article is playing in tune with an exponential VCO. And this is <laughs> exactly like the allaboutcircuits.com. Uh, this circuit here, the linear to exponential, is actually gone through in this article. And this article also references René Schmitz for his exponential VCO design. So, and if we go down here, we see that this circuit is quite similar to this one. with two transistors and yeah similar not the same but so you can also make a again if you want exponential convert uh, uh, an exponential voltage controlled VCO you can also make this otherwise just do the circuit I showed you and the panel this is the same as the other one, I made two versions. This one without the CV amount. So you have CV in, an output, a signal in, and the rate knob. And the other one has, yeah, I changed the frequency, signal in, and then it's got the CV amount pot, CV and out, if you want that. I use this one for my purposes. Again, it's not that useful to have the CV amount on just on VCOs. 
it is better on fi filters and VCFs and stuff like that. And that is it for part three. We now have three very different VCOs and we're already making quite some interesting waveforms I think. Even without all the other modules that we're going to build we can already make complex rhythmic stuff. It's um, for me I think this is very much fun. And the next part is uh, the final VCO for our, uh, our modular in a week. We, so then we have four. And that is actually the VCO that started this whole thing. The reverse avalanche VCO. Um, which I saw a video of Look Mom No Computer make. And that's the road we are on. More about that in the next video. I just want to do a shout out that uh, if you want to become my Patreon, now is a good time. Once I have 10 Patreons, I'm going to give this one away to one of the lucky, whatever, 10 plus people there are. And if you like this video, please press the like button and make sure you don't miss the next video by subscribing and clicking the bell button. And yeah. Let's make some noise and see you next time. Bye.